Hello, and welcome to this week's Penn Energy News Update. I'm Hilton Price. An ExxonMobil crude oil pipeline spilled thousands of gallons of crude in Mayflower, Arkansas, a town 25 miles north of Little Rock. The Pegasus pipeline suffered a rupture Friday afternoon, leading to the evacuation of 22 homes. ExxonMobil dispatched 15 vacuum trucks and 33 storage tanks to handle the spill. Approximately 12,000 barrels of oil and water have been recovered. ExxonMobil says it is working with authorities on both cleanup efforts and an investigation into the cause of the spill. The company has had crews in Mayflower steam cleaning properties affected by the spill. The Pegasus Pipeline is a 20-inch diameter, 95,000-barrel-a-day pipeline. It originates in Patoka, Illinois, and carries crude oil to the country's main refining center along the Texas Gulf Coast. As much as 30,000 gallons of crude oil was spilled in western Minnesota after a train derailment. 14 cars of a 94-car Canadian Pacific train came off the tracks approximately 150 miles northwest of Minneapolis. A 26,000-gallon tank car ruptured as a result of the derailment near the town of Parker's Prairie. This is the first major rail oil spill since the boom of crude by rail transport in North America began three years ago. However, Canadian Pacific officials were not sure whether or not the crude was from Canada's tar sands or conventional oil fields. Fields. Newfield Exploration Company said it has made a significant natural gas discovery offshore Malaysia. The discovery is located in waters about 250 feet deep, 50 miles offshore Sarawak. Newfield estimates that as much as 3 trillion cubic feet of gas is in place. The well is located less than 3 miles from the company's B-15 well, where reserves are estimated to be as much as 256 billion cubic feet of gas. Newfield is also planning to explore another well, the B-17, in that area. The Department of the Interior's Office of Natural Resources Revenue announced it has assessed Chesapeake Energy Company a $765,000 civil penalty for knowing or willful submission of inaccurate information on its oil and gas royalty reports. During an audit that began October 1st of 2009, an American Indian oil and gas lease held by Chesapeake Energy, ONRR directed Chesapeake to report additional volumes on its royalty reporting forms. The department says Chesapeake failed to comply at that time. The company eventually made the required corrections, but ONRR auditors have since discovered additional inaccurate royalty reports. The department says despite repeated warnings, Chesapeake has failed to take actions to prevent such incorrect reporting. General Electric announced it will build a new global research center in Oklahoma dedicated to driving innovation and technological advancements in the oil and gas sector and bringing products to market faster. The new facility, which is GE Research's first sector-specific center, represents a $110 million investment by the company and will result in the creation of 125 high-tech engineering jobs initially. The launch of the new center comes as the availability of unconventional resources, such as shale gas, continue to change the global energy landscape. The center will initially focus on technologies that enable safe, efficient, and reliable production, delivery, and use of unconventional oil and gas. Thank you for joining us this week. For these stories and many more, head to penenergy.com.